Hey everyone, we are going to be reviewing surface area of cylinders, rectangular prisms, and triangular prisms today. So let's start with cylinders. Remember, you always want to start by shading the base, which are the circles in a cylinder, and circling the height. And the two things that we need for our cylinder surface area formulas are the radius and the height. So I'm going to go ahead and write those out to the side here. I will need the radius and the height. So the height is obviously 11.2. I'm going to cross it out because I'm not going to use it again. And then the radius will be whatever the diameter 5.2 divided by 2 is. And 5.2 divided by 2 is 2.6. Okay, now I have everything I need for my surface area formulas. So I'm going to find the lateral surface area by doing 2 times pi 3.14 times my radius of 2.6 times the height of 11.2. And 2 times 3.14 times 2.6 times 11.2 is 182.87 feet squared. Okay, total surface area, I'm going to start out with that same part, and then I'm going to add in the 2 pi r squared or the two circular bases. So the first part will be the same, 2 times pi times the radius times the height plus 2 times pi times the radius of 2.6 squared. So I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 2.6 times 11.2 plus 2 times 3.14 times 2.6 squared. And that is 225.33 feet squared. Okay, and that was total and lateral surface area of a cylinder. Now we're going to look at total and lateral surface area of our prisms. They have the same formulas. Remember, our bases in a rectangular prism are the rectangles, and then the bases in our triangular prisms are triangles. And I need the same thing for both of them. I need the perimeter of the base. I need the height of the prism. And for total surface area, I will need the area of the base. So I'm going to start by finding those three things on the rectangular prism. So I'm going to shade my bases. Remember, you can use any of the faces unless they specify. I just usually use the top and the bottom. And then that makes my height 2.6. So I will need the perimeter of the base. I will need the height of the prism and the area of the base. Um, height, I circled it. It's 2.6. And now I'm going to cross it out because I'm not going to use it again. And now I'm going to find the perimeter of the base. So around the base. So it's 4.3 plus 1.8 plus 4.3 plus 1.8 for the perimeter of the base. And 4.3 plus 1.8 plus 4.3 plus 1.8 is 12.2. Okay, now I need to find the area of the base, which remember I find the area of the rectangular base by doing length times width. So I'm going to do 4.3 times 1.8. And 4.3 times 1.8 is 7.74. So now I have everything I need to find the surface area. I have perimeter, it's 12.2. I have the height of the prism, it's 2.6. And then the area of my base is 7.74. So now I'm just going to plug into my formulas. To find lateral surface area, I will do the perimeter, which is 12.2, times the height, which is 2.6. And 12.2 times 2.6 is 31.72 feet squared. 
Okay, for total surface area, I also do perimeter times height and I add in my two bases and my base was 7.74. So 12 times 2.6 plus 2 times 7.74. And I get 46.68 feet squared. Okay, let's look at the triangular prism. A lot of people want to put this as the base, but that is not the base. Remember, our bases are the triangles. which makes our height 10. All right, now that I have identified my bases and the height, I'm gonna write out everything I will need for my surface area formulas. So my height is 10, I'm gonna cross it out because I'm done with it. Perimeter of the base, I need to add the three sides of the triangle. So I'm gonna do four plus three plus five. They tell me this side over there, but I know it's five. These are the same, so it's five. Okay, so perimeter of the triangle will be whatever four plus three plus five is, which is 12. Okay, and then the last thing I need is the area of the triangular base. And remember to find the area of a triangle, I do one half times the base times the height of the triangle. And the base and the height of the triangle form the right angle. So that makes the base of the triangle three and the height of the triangle four. So I'll do one half times three times four. One half times three times four is six. Okay, so now I'm going to use the perimeter, which was 12. the height, which was 10, and the base, the area of the base, which was six, to find the lateral and total surface area. So let's start with lateral surface area. I just do perimeter of the base times height, which is 12 times 10, so that is 120 centimeters squared. Okay, then the total surface area, I do perimeter of the base, times the height plus two times the area of the base. So it'll start out same 12 times 10 plus two times the area of the base was six. So 12 times 10 plus two times six is 132 centimeters squared. And there's a review of these six different types of surface area problems that we have learned about.